welcome to cadmed this is our tutorial 3 in our class 9 so in this section we are going to see how to create a mouse cover from this today drawing we will be creating a model of the mouse cover so so we will use different features that we have learned till now up to our class 9 previously we have seen two more tutorials tutorial 1 and tutorial 2 the tutorial 2 is a helical care and the tutorial 1 is coming to motor cover so we will see this mouse cover now so let's go for Katia and oh, go to start mechanical design part design and give the name as a mouse cover click ok and now first of all we need a base feature for any model to create so so the feature with which we will start creating the first site so now so let's draw firstly um, let's start with the section A I think uh, from the top view we'll be starting We'll start with this curve and make them as a guide curve. Okay, let's start with this R125. From the top view, we'll draw it. So let's go for top view here and select the sketcher and select the plane. Now uh, we are in the sketcher workbench here and let's create in some circle I'll go for this three point arc well let's start from here okay and now I need to create another circle here it is radius of arc is 418 and this is 125 which we have created now anyway we haven't constrained it so let's create another one So let's give the constraint first one is R125 and the second one is R419 that is the uh, 125 and the second one is 419 And now we need to apply the tangency between these two. One, one, this one, tangency. Okay, tangency has been applied. And now what you need to do is put this part is 5 from here. And 58 from here. Not 
58 which is here from the center axis and now the total length total length is 224 so let's give the value as 224 this point and this point horizontal that is 24 so that is not really constant as you can just no really so where fully constrain so how to fully constrain this if you see we have done a mistake here here if you see this is a uh, concave shape on the outside where it is a convex shape on the outside so for this the center should be on the outside not on the inside so we need to change this r one at center position so that let's delete this and let's delete this again and let's create a circle again this one this one and make it a convex shape on the outside and now let's apply the constraint now to the radius as 418 and now let's apply the tangency for these two steps tangency so let's see if it is still movable now this shape looks similar to this one Even though it is not fully constrained, so but there is nothing that we can do as here. Uh, we can see we have used all the dimensions that they are given to constrain, but still there is a freedom of movement there. So what we do is we, as it is a surface, uh, like a shape, like so we'll just adjust the shape such that it will be approximately close to the shape zone in the drawing here so let's try this I think it is almost close to this so let's leave like this and is it the sketch of a print and let's create another guide shown here with R240 so let's start Go to this top plane again and go to the sketch there. So now here
roughly I created this one. Now I apply the constraint here. This one is is 58 here and here also is total 116 we're coming to the total then horizontal total line this is as 224 it's a total length give the value of 224 okay and let's give the radius for this this 314 this 240 yeah okay here in this case it is could be constrained without any problem without any degrees of freedom but why they are not given any constraining value here for making it fully constrained I don't know so I just suggested this um, approximately similar to the sketch the drawing they have given so let's exit the sketch uh, now So now if you see, well anyway, we just make it constrained by giving some value to this. So here I'm giving this point from this end around. It is a let me see this ninety five. So it is fully constrained. Actually, the value is not given in the drawing here, but I am just uh, uh, assume that the value, some value, so that it will the shape will remain. So now it is fully constrained. Now is it the sketcher? And now let's uh, go for the this. In section A, now we will create this R235 from the side view. All the values 46 and 30 to 24. Then the sketch will be fully constrained. I hope so. So let's create the Let's go for this accept plan side view and just select this picture here. Uh, let's uh, add it out. Let's go for top. So now here the value should be let's give the arc roughly. Let's give it roughly and let's constrain it. Give the arc radius as 235. And the value says 46 on one side and 30 on the other side. So let's give the value as 30, 46. the total length is two twenty four 
224 is the total length so let's exit the sketches so we got three different curves here which will be acting as a guide curves so so first the next thing we'll do is we'll create a plane at this end and at this end it's not required it is, as it is from the origin you can see the planes already here existing planes so here i will be creating a plane so making the sketch sketches here so we need to make two sketches one is at here one end and the other end is a section sketch two and let's create the firstly the sketch one will be the radius of 113 and the sketch 2 will be at a radius of 120 so let's create the sketch and the ends of the sketch will be matching with the end points of the guides created at first So let's do it. So let's create. So say I'm selecting this plane here. On this end, select the sketching object, and now let's make an arc here. Roughly. and let's make some spanning here select this end and this end and right click and select elliptic symmetric client select the center and now if I uh, select this one Select this one, swap location, again swap location, again let's see vertical measurement, okay now horizontal measurement, should be 0, and again in the same way. Select this end and make the horizontal measure and make it zero. So it is all constant. So let me remove this yellow symmetric scale, yellow symmetric constraint created earlier. And here in this center, and do this one. Remove this symmetrical click. Now let's see. This end and this end, horizontal measurement makes it zero. Okay. And now I need to join this one and this curve, this end the guide. For this end, I need to join this. Select this curve and this point and make it one side. Okay, now the thing that is still Ending is a uh, radius, I think. Radius is 120. On this short side, 
from 30 said it is 120 this is a closed one and this is open and this is the closed end on the closed end from the you see here this is an open end r113 is this arc is an open end whereas this r120 is the closed side here so from inside the dimension is given as r120 so let's see the value uh, and here the value should be zero so what is still left is these two lines which are measuring this is zero uh, but it is fully constrained now the thing that is still left I need to actually close this R here so let's close this one Close this one. So is it the picture? So one profile has been created. Now we are left with another sketch here. So here I need to create a plane here. So see, go to this plane option here. I'm selecting this point, and the plane should be parallel to this plane. So to select here yeah I will now multiply or parallel to point so I need to select the reference here and select the point so I got a plane click OK so Select this plane and select the sketch of object. Fit all in. So here now on this plane, I need to create another sketch, which is of R113, and this ends up matching with the guidance. So let's start creating it. R to such this roughly I created an R so let's start constraining this one and select this edge and this edge and vertical measurement no. oriented measurement it should be zero okay and same as this edge and this edge horizontal measurement zero and coming to this so on this point on the guide so should be coincide and the uh, radius should be 113 113 okay and we are still left with this edge and this edge vertical measurement it should be zero line on the same line those two endpoints should lie on the same line on the same axis so, so it is constrained so we are left with creating a closed loop So is this the picture? No, 
not confirm or if the vision may be yeah we'll see this picture you see we are having the side view place we are having two different sections and three kite curves here created as per the drawing it, the only thing we adjusted is the shape here the R125 and R419 is not the one or the dimension is missing so we adjusted so that it matches the shape approximately so actually this should be given but uh, maybe there is some that is dimension has been missed here so anyway the ultimate goal of for us is to create this model as close to the dimensions as possible so now now go for this uh, multi section solid here select it and select the first section and select the second section and see the closing points are on the same side and the same vertex here so go to the guides here and select guides here first one second one third one see the previous and click ok so we got the final shape so still we are missing with something here like uh, the wall thickness should be 3 mm overall and here one side is open and other side is kept closed so let's go for the shelling option here to maintain the wall thickness so before that uh, the radius should be given R25 to edges here here and here is R25 and whereas on the top it is R15 on one side in three sides it is R15 and two edges it is R25 so let's see So go to this fillet option and see the radius as 25 and select it these two edges see you 25 and these two edges and coming to on top side on three sides it is of 15 three edges so select this top side automatically selects all the three sides at a time as its selection mode is in tangency so it will take three edges at a time using this tangency selection mode and in the radius we give the value as 15 see the preview okay so we almost got so now we the go for the shell option is it here is the cell option select and default inside thickness should be 3 mm and place a story may want to remove this space and this space am I correct yeah so let's see okay and see let's go for shading with the edges <coughs> now you can see Clearly, the shape as per the drawing here. Yeah. Let's keep them side by side.
you see here let's go for the views I want uh, uh, this backside view. Zero, seventeen. Yeah. So finally, we created so we created the model using the 2D drawing that was shown to us. So, hope you understand every point. If there is uh, any doubt, you can comment down the comment section and make sure you practice this one perfectly. And from the coming to the next class, we are going to see from the next class onwards. The white frame on the surface design workbench. So, in that, we are going to learn some different high frame geometries and surfaces and different surface features. We are going to see in the next class in the white frame on surface design workbench. So, until then, have a good day. Bye bye.